Welcome to Droppy, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. And I'm Karina. And today we're going into outer space. Whoa. Is this a Yu Gi Oh episode? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? We're going into outer space, but not the real outer space. We're going into the metaphorical outer space of astrology. Astrology, the one true science. The one true science. <laughs> I know a lot of people out there like astrology and think it's fun and cool, and I don't know that much about it, but I did think it'd be fun if we did an episode where we did some creative drawings based on it. Yeah. Yeah. For fun. For fun. For fun. So here's how this is going to work. We are going to take our uh, elemental sign there's like four elements earth air fire water that apply to the astrological signs we're going to combine that with our actual sign and then we're going to combine that with our chinese zodiac from the year we were born and we're going to draw the resulting (laughs) creature that's fun uh on the freaking episode that we're doing right now we're doing an episode (laughs) karina get it together Yell at me. <laughs> 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 Nathan, you're going first. Do you Karina know? was all ready to go to space. <laughs> and you're here scolding her. Listen, somebody's got to keep this ship in the water, as they say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm also a water sign, I believe. So that. What's your What's your sign, Nathan? I'm a Pisces. Ooh. A Pisces is a water sign. Yeah, it's a fish, so I would hope that's a water sign. So you got water, you got fish, and then then you you were born in 89, right? Mm-hmm. So you're a snake. A couple of snakes over here, yeah. you and me, but <laughs> so, our snakes are going to be different. Yours is actually sort of less thrilling than I would have hoped. It's, it's just, just a water <laughs> It's just a sea serpent. A water fish snake is pretty standard. It's a sea serpent. It's a sea serpent. Yeah. It's a sea serpent. A snurpent. It's a A snurpent. When I look at Nathan, I think, now there's a sea serpent of a guy. (laughs) Now, am I supposed to include sort of elements of my own personality in this design as well? You can. I just thought it'd be fun to draw some fun monsters. Yeah, take ownership of this. I, I think I'd be be like a friendly snurpent. Yeah, I like that. You can make it a little little Nathan vibes. This is your uh, space assigned persona. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. From from the sun. This is my snursona. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan is a scaly. Apparently, yeah. Of both fish and snake varieties. Fun. So good for you, Nathan. So adventurous. Yeah. Let's just make like a happy looking serpent. Snappy. Snappy snurpent. Snappy snurpent. I mean, I think, you know, if this is truly your space assigned persona, (laughs) this Uh should be like the easiest thing you've ever drawn because this is just an extension of. Of you. It lives in you. Like that song from Lion King 2. Yeah. And the Lion King musical on Broadway. They use yeah. it in that as well. Yeah. <laughs> you have to reach deep inside and activate your inner Lion King, the musical on Broadway. Or Lion King 2. Or, or Lion King 2. Whichever is more accessible to you. <laughs> the stage production of uh, Lion King, the musical on Broadway, that song, I because I wasn't expecting that song. Because I, I, again, I was like, oh, I, I just know this is the song from the Lion King 2. But then they come out with, with that song. And I thought the way that they did it was so cool. Did you like lose your shit when they started I, singing I kinda, that song? I kind of. Lost, well, not the song itself, but the way they did it. What'd they do? They got all these people, right, in the different um, animal outfits. And they're, you see them all, they're all carrying stuff up onto the <gasps> stage. They're all holding different sort of large wooden looking uh, pieces, different shaped pieces. And you're like, what are, what are they holding? What are they doing? 
and 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 as it comes to he lives in you in the chorus they all they get in position and they all flip the pieces around and it makes a giant lion's face <gasps> whoa and it was very dope do you think they knew it was going to do that who, the yeah, people the, who were holding them? Yeah, yeah, maybe they didn't tell them. <laughs> like, do you think they flipped it and they were like, whoa. <laughs> well, they didn't get, they don't get to see it. So yeah. they wouldn't. Yeah, they're like, oh, I don't get it. Why are they clapping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe it just worked out that way. <laughs> That's magical. Yeah, it was very magical. We should all see a show together once that's a thing that we can do safely. Yeah. I would love Go that. Go to tick 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 It's the only way to get them. Yeah. I have not seen like a Broadway show since I moved here. I love to support the arts. So I would like to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I have to Fun. say. Fun. I don't even know what's running well, i guess <laughs> nothing will be right running. now <laughs> man do you think that like because of the pandemic they weren't able to do you know shows for a while that now they're going to bring back like all the bangers oh yeah i hope they bring back spongebob the musical yeah i heard that one was good absolute banger i heard the uh the sound design in that one was really good it's in, in so SpongeBob. good I'll be chasing the emotional high of seeing <laughs> SpongeBob the Musical for the rest of my life. <laughs> wow. I want to see SpongeBob the Musical. It sounds like a great time. Uh, bring back SpongeBob the Musical. Come on. Come on. Cowards. Cowards. I don't know who's in charge of it, but we got to- cowards. We, but we, <laughs> we think they're cowards. <laughs> yeah, let's write a letter to Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Telling him to bring back SpongeBob the Musical. <laughs> he's probably got some part in it. He's he's got his little hands in everything. No, don't give him that credit. But maybe he can he can pull his weight to bring it back. <laughs> it's like Andrew, you made them all cats. <laughs> Andrew, you had one. There are no cats live underwater. Andrew, that's just silly. <laughs> <laughs> There's something really funny referring to Andrew Lloyd Webber by his first name. Only. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew. Uh, Andrew, you did it again. Andrew, you just changed the word railway to boat. <laughs> Skimble Shanks. And Skimble Shanks. <laughs> you called him Shipple Shanks. Shipple Shanks, the boat cat. We know Andrew. Patrick Star, the boat cat. We're getting there, Andrew, but it's still not correct. <laughs> Andrew, please. The musical already exists. You don't have to do anything to it. Just bring it back. <laughs> Pull some strings, Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and g get this happy serpent in there he could be in spongebob yeah. yeah he can get his own song or at least be in in the ensemble i feel like this is this is sort of like how i'd be if i was a big old snurpent yeah yeah you'd pop up out of the waves and be like hey hey <laughs> i'm nathan hey i'm nathan <laughs> I tried to indicate, I tried to give myself a, a, a snurpent beard. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah, I like that. Maybe some, uh, maybe like one of these sorts of things. I'm just, it's just sort of like a happy Gyarados. <laughs> Nathan's the happy Gyarados of Drawfee. I've always said it. Yeah. <laughs> now the space, the, the sun said it too. The sun said it. You can't yeah. argue with the, the position of the sun and the stars and the planets. Yeah. What are you going to do? Move them? Nice try. You can't. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> they're not, they're not going to move. They're too big and they're you're too, too big. small. <laughs> you can't move them, Andrew. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Andrew, you can't make all the constellations into cats. <laughs> you don't have that power, Andrew. It's far too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
<laughs> I would do an Andrew Lloyd Webber impression, but I have no idea what he sounds like. I just know Paul F. Tompkins' Andrew Lloyd Webber impression, which is just like a, a blustery British man. Like, what? I say. that That's exactly what I expect. I just... I just want there to be cats everywhere. <laughs> I'll move the, c- the celestial bodies themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine the legends that like the sailors of these waters would tell. Be like, he was a great serpent, came crashing through the waves, and he was pretty cool. Yeah. He was pretty chill. He asked if we had any snacks. <laughs> When I say he was a great serpent, I mean, I I thought he was quite nice and had many good qualities and a great personality. <laughs> great snersonality. <laughs> Which is not hey. to say he, he wasn't attractive, too, because he was. He had it all. A true <laughs> 10 out of 10 serpent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is basically it. I'll make it look nice in the... In the render. So cute. This is your celestial fursona. Yeah. This is my <laughs> snursona. Celestial snursona. <laughs> <laughs> it's here. It's here. Yay. We did it. I love it, Nathan. Happy to be here. Yeah, I'm happy it's here too. All right, I'm going to go next. Woo. Because I'm, I'm also a snake. I'm also a snake like Nathan. Yeah, we know. But you're not just a snake, are oh, you? I'm not just a snake. You, you can't just be a snake. That would be insane. I am, in fact, an <laughs> air sign. I'm a Gemini. And that means it's two snakes. Double double snakes in the sky. Yeah. Double snake bow all the way across <laughs> the sky. Yeah. That means this is like Metal Gear Solid, the twin snakes. That's me. That's you. I'm that. Dude. This episode is artists draw snakes. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> it's, a, it's the snep episode. The snep episode. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to like start with a snake. Yeah. I don't know where else to begin. Yeah. Start with the snake and, you know. Yeah. Start at the snaginning. <laughs> Well, I have an idea for what where I want it to sort of end up. You know, you want to convey duality with these. Snakes. Yeah, I'll convey yeah. duality, Nathan. Because right? you're you're a Gemini, so you're two faced. Yeah, I'm two two snaced. That's the only stereotypical trait I know about Gemini's. So this snake is like this is the cool snake. <laughs> oh yeah, one of my dualities is cool. Uh huh. Huh. So we're gonna start with that. Yeah. And we'll get the cool snake first. Again, I'm not getting I'm not getting a ton of air yet. You will. I have we'll, a plan, okay. Nathan. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Give me like a second to Damn. do my plan. I just feel like mine was pretty clearly water from the beginning, so, you know. Yeah, but you haven't given me like literally any time and you're already in my shit. This this is my, you know, my dark side coming out. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, he's so cool. What's the stereotypical trait of a Pisces? I forgot to ask. A Pisces? I mean... What about a Pisces do you embody, Nathan? Um, I mean, it's all vague made up stuff, right? So the the parts that apply to me, probably. They're like... Don't you know? Create... <laughs> creative and sensitive or, well, or something. Because if Jacob is two-faced and I'm baby, <laughs> then what are you? Fish. Then who's driving the car? What? what? <laughs> I don't know. Are, are Pisces supposed to be skeptical of astrology? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> are they supposed to be party poopers? Are they supposed to be real... <laughs> Real party I'm look poopers. Up Pisces traits, because now I want to know. Because my party's pooped. Empathetic, generous, overly emotional. <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> but in sort of a fishy way. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Maybe like this is a candy cigarette, because smoking's not cool. 
I'm also like right on the border with Aquarius, so I don't know what oh. that means. I don't know if that changes things. It do. Yeah, it pretty much changes everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything's different now. Aquarius cusp. I don't even know you anymore. Naturally intuitive, psychic-like, nope. sees things differently. I'm a little You're different. different. I'm just a little different than the other <laughs> girls. <laughs> Has the ability to get a lot done, but can be lazy or procrastinate. Very sensitive. I mean that that does kind of yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, that does yeah, kind of track. This is bullet number one on the next image. Are not the best at keeping track of their things and appointments. Mm-hmm. It's not personal. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> did you look something up, or did you just like have a list of grievances ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what it is. This is what it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe astrology isn't so fake, Nathan. Are you uh-huh. feeling like attacked right now? It is in your nature to be sensitive. Because <laughs> I'm so sensitive. I feel very attacked. Yeah. Well, don't worry. Jacob's a two-faced little snake, so <laughs> we're all shitty here. <laughs> their tails are doing a little cuddle. Oh, they're holding yeah. hands. So this snake is the other the other duality and this one's really rad. So your du- <laughs> <laughs> So your dualities are cool st- and rad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. God I'm not convinced. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, I forgot. I I started believing in astrology when Jacob got the fool in the, the, uh, <laughs> in the tarot episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was correct. I was like, okay, maybe maybe part of being a Pisces is I forget things that I say I believe for a bit, and then you remember, and then I remember <laughs> them for a different bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's sort of a a bit based economy. belief system economy. <laughs> I mean, that's like that's our economy as Drawfee. We're a bit based economy. I don't believe in money. But you believe in bits. It's all about the quips, baby. It's all about the the quips. So this is kind of the rad, the radder side. These two snakes are like this. It reminds me of that part in God of High School where the one announcer goes away and they get a different announcer who's basically the same. (laughs) The same announcer. (laughs) But he looks. He wears slightly different sunglasses and his hair is. What's that one meme? Where it's the yearbook photos and it's like, uh, Jacob, cooler Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Except there, but it's like there's a lot of debate as to which one is cooler. Is it cooler to be cool or cooler to be rad? Well, it's probably cooler to be cool and radder to be rad. If yeah. I had to. But what's cooler than being cool? Ice, Ice cold. cold. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Nathan, you loved it. The sheer joy. Oh, lend me some sugar. <laughs> I am your neighbor. <laughs> Nathan's neighbor, if you're watching, yeah. we have a request. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sensitive. I need some sugar. <laughs> Yeah, you procrastinated on buying some. Yeah, I'm baking a cake, <laughs> and I realize I don't have any sugar because I procrastinated on checking the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> this is how they fly. They're what? sort of their tails are uh, are tied together. Oh, that's like a diagram. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not. It's and not yet complete. And they themselves. Are the propellers? Yeah, and they just sort of spin through the the air. So they just get real nauseous. Well, no, because they're, <laughs> you know, again, very cool. They're very cool, so they don't they don't experience extreme uh, torque the same way that uh, no that lay people do. No, <laughs> it's kind of like you know when you're living your life at this speed. Yeah, it's every day feels like you know. Feels like you're spinning. Uh, then it's really it's it's when you're not spinning that things are 
Mm -hmm. that's when it feels weird. Wow. If you're not in control, Mm -hmm. no. Try again. Let me try again. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) If I've got to be out of control to be in control. And I got to be in control to be spin control. Damn. You kind of drew a, a weed leaf. I mean, that's also pretty cool, right? <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's honestly maybe the coolest part of this whole drawing. <laughs> it's when you look at the sky and you're like, is that a weed? Is and that it's a actually weed? actually just two snakes. It's just two snakes. It's just two cool snakes. <laughs> and they're just sort of okay. doing doing their thing. You've won me over with this. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just how it is. I don't. There's nothing to like win over. It's just how it is. It's just, you know, it just is. Jacob can't change who he is, and he is two snakes. <laughs> no, you know what? They get naked to fly. The snakes get naked. They get snaked. They get snaked to fly through the air. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's, you know, we get naked and bald. <laughs> just like woo. <laughs> okay, now I, I couldn't picture it before, but yeah. now I got it. Yeah. That's sort of how it goes. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is me. I mean, I'm part cool, part rad, and I'd never get nauseous. Easy breezy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Easy. Easy one. Nailed it. Really good. Three, three pointer. <laughs> wow. Hole in one. Three pointer hole in one grand slam. <laughs> grand slam. Touchdown. Over the fences, out of the park. Karina. That's me. You want to go now do yours one? Yes. I'm crab. I am a <laughs> cancer. So you're water. I'm water. We're back to the ocean. We're back to SpongeBob. Andrew Lloyd Webber's SpongeBob <laughs> gets to return. Here he comes. Because here's those the great thing. great bits from before. I, I'm younger than y'all, so I am not snake. Not snake. Not a snake. I am rooster. Oh, oh. rooster crab. Rooster. rooster crab of the sea. Rooster. Oh. <laughs> Just a real, real great combination. What does a rooster look like? It's a lot of parts. <laughs> Surf and turf, sort of. I don't think anyone's combined these two before. No. I think you're going to do it for the first time. Tell me. This one is for the water signs out there tonight. Yeah, because I, I had two animals that sort of go together. Jacob's wasn't an animal. <laughs> it, was it was just two animals. It was just, two, it <laughs> it was just do two it. snakes. Do it again. <laughs> Karina's the only one with like an actual yeah. interesting fusion. And it's horrible. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have to look up what a rooster's head kind of looks like. It's important. I'm well, sorry. This, yeah. <laughs> this is a crooster. Yeah, but you know, you gotta you gotta start. Don't pressure me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensitive and a great kisser. Because <laughs> I'm a cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Much like a crab, you are a great kisser. Yeah. yeah. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Is that a crab sound? <laughs> little yeah. bubbles. Just imagine the little bubbles in, in their mouths doing, doing that. Is this what a rooster looks like? I have one open, and yet I'm not yeah. even looking at it. <laughs> I, think it I think it is. Again, I would. I agree with your decision to make the top rooster. And not have to draw crab face. You I'll can give definitely it crab get features. Yeah, there there are definitely better features to indicate crab, but I think beak and you gotta give it all the rooster bits. All the bits. Yeah, it's gotta have the nasty the nasty thing. Yeah. Why do they have that nasty thing? Hmm. Science is yet to explain to me why they have that nasty thing. Yeah, the yeah. answer is not out there. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. No. It's just on there. It's just to annoy me. Yeah. I think. And like, I feel like aesthetically (laughs) they would benefit from losing it. Yeah. Because it's nasty. Any uh, roosterologists in the the chat? Yeah. There's bound to be statistically. Yeah. A roosterologist that watches. (laughs) Yeah. Let us know. Leave a comment. Yeah. First one. You, You can 
put dibs on the title of Drawfee Roosterologist. And um, only at Jacob yeah. with your answer. Because he's the one who brought it up. Yeah. I don't have a Twitter. <laughs> only at me. And my Twitter handle is at at Nathan Yaffe. It is not that. So tweet at that one. That'll go you straight can't... to me. That's a, a lie you've told. No, that's mine. I, I got that one. Two-faced snake. Wow. I'm not happy with this shape. I'm I liked very it. sensitive. I liked it. I don't even know what a crab looks like. <laughs> They're horrible. Oh, are you gonna make it like a crab claw shaped thing? No, it's on just top? gonna no, it's it's gonna be like a rooster. Unless okay. I can make it a crab. I'll make it part crab. Wait, I have a crab on my desk. Perfect. Okay. Just do it. I think this looks great. Yeah, it's off to a rip roar and start. Yeah. It's the best cruister I've ever seen. Now it looks like Get in here, buddy. (laughs) I I wasn't ready for this. Yeah. (laughs) I didn't know it was going to go this way. I'm so happy. I'm going to try and do like as much as much combining as possible. So that's the first one. Yeah, you're the only one of us who had really any combining to do. <laughs> and yet and yet we did the episode. And yet we did the episode. <laughs> I'd I'd love to know what Julia's uh fish serpent looks like though. Yeah, because y'all are the same. It'd be different. Because Julia Julia just me again. Yeah. <laughs> but probably a different vibe. She skews more towards the it is able to get uh, many things done, whereas I skew towards the procrastinates a lot. Yeah, two sides of that coin. <laughs> for so if sure. You get both in there. It's sure. Yeah. This looks like a battle rooster. Yeah. It's because I'm so emotional. I'm ready to go. You're ready to fight at a moment's notice. <laughs> I've never done my full chart. Um, well, I, I pieced bits together, but. I did one of those things where you just put in your information and it tells you like the percentage of elements you have on your chart. Mm. And I am 44% water signs. I'm a mess. <laughs> That's so wet. I'm like I'm like 0% fire. <laughs> <laughs> what other sorry, what other signs are there? Fire, water, air and earth. No, but like what how I'm Okay. You got because this is your sun sign. So then you got your moon sign. You have your rising. You have like every planet. So you got your Venus. What does that mean? They all t- represent different things. Okay. Is it all related to your birthday? And your birth time and your location. Location. Yeah. Hey, how about this? I got your moon sign right here. And then I oh, and then you show my moon? butt. Yeah, I show and then my you butt. You show your butt. Ugh, so, air sign of you. Yeah, because of farts. Because of farts. <laughs> 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 wow, I would not want to see this. <laughs> this is me. I'm right here. <laughs> yeah. This is what's going on up here. <laughs> Every day you wake up and do internal combat with this creature yeah. in your mind. <laughs> some days you win and some days it wins. Ugh, my crab rooster tulpa won't stop screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited to see whether we get um, crab legs or rooster legs or some horrible combination. Mm, interesting point. Wow, do crabs have this many legs? That's so many. They got a lot. Yeah, it's more that's than, it's, so it's much. Way more than you. I gotta make think. it a little smaller. It it's is way more than they need for sure. It's good. It's good for like if you're you're doing like a like a big crab, a big crab boil or whatever. Oh yeah, that's true. Because you get lots of lots of legs. The meat sense. Yeah, we love it. And you know, I guess it's good for like scuttling over rough terrain or whatever you can scuttle with four legs but you can scuttle more with eight and then claws 
I don't get a know. lot more scuttling done. I don't buy it. The amount of steps per scuttle is drastically increased. Okay, so we've got sort of crab leg shape, but then it goes into a rooster yeah. foot. Yeah. This is such an aggressive posture. This is my fursona. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I promise I won't. It's clearly the smallest creature, but like my serpent is terrified yeah. of running into one of these. My snakes are flying right away. They're spinning up. <laughs> this embodies all of my negative traits as a cancer. I don't. <laughs> what are those? I'm. Uh, I can hold a grudge. Oh no! This thing holds a grudge with my big claws. <laughs> uh, what else? What else are? <laughs> what other flaws do I have? Like none. <laughs> <laughs> Just the grudge thing. Just yeah. the grudge thing. And that's, you know, not a flaw so much as a, a power. A threat. Yeah. <laughs> Just a fair warning. Yeah. I think the scariest part about this creature to me is the, the grim certainty in its eyes. Yeah, that's most birds. <laughs> like it knows how this is going to shake out. It doesn't need to, to threaten you. It just needs to be here. All three of its eyes that we can see. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it has another one on the other side. Yeah, and I assume it's making the see, same. See, because these are, these are like the prey eyes, so they see the peripherals, but these are the <laughs> predator yeah, eyes, so the they hunter. see forward. <laughs> <laughs> it can beaties. see, it, yeah, it has like a pretty, pretty tight range. Guys, sees, it sees everywhere. Okay, crabs do not have tail, but I should give it those like crab abs. Crab abs. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. it's armor. It's Under Armour. Yeah, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> I mean, both both from Maryland, so of course, yeah, that's where they got the name from. Crabs. Yeah, this is this is a shell. Yes, do not be mistaken. But it also has feathers. Yeah, it's a shell covering feathers. The shell protects you. Give it some bumps. Protects your sensitive. Yeah, feathers. my feelings. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your feeling <laughs> yeah, feathers. Yeah, that too. <laughs> feelings are stored in the feather. Yeah, feathers and equals it has feelings. A big tail. Yay! I'm just so excited for this <laughs> character to be in the SpongeBob musical. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, no, Andrew. This is how we compromise. It's just like, if you take out all the cats, you can have Crab Rooster. <laughs> he can have his own song. It's gonna, all the children at the show are gonna be terrified. <laughs> yeah, it, it does look like this. <laughs> you said you said no cats, so I've done the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best he can. <laughs> Listen, you take away my cats. This is all I have left to work with. <laughs> It doesn't, like the rest of the characters in SpongeBob the Musical, it isn't like a humanized version of the character. It is just this. It's this suit. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, Dame Judi Dench really, she really melts into the character. You don't. <laughs> uh, this is her. <laughs> you'd never know it was her if you didn't get the playbill. At the end of the show, when she just looks straight into camera and clacks her claws for 10 full minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the, the subtitle says, a, "Dead silent. A rooster can sometimes be a crab." I know I am. I know I am. Man, I can't believe y'all got <laughs> Dame Judy Dench in yours. I got the I got the standby on mine because she was busy that night. I got Jason Derulo. Yeah, <laughs> he just doesn't clack the same. Yeah. Excuse you. It's Dame Jason Derulo. <laughs> <laughs> Met Dame Jason Derulo. <laughs> Show some respect. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Here, here's the. It's underwater. <laughs> oh yeah, of yeah. course. It can breathe underwater, but it does have lungs, so it can find you anywhere. Yeah, you, it's you're not gonna escape the grudge. Not the sky. Ha <laughs> ha. There's wings under the shell. No. <laughs> yes. That's cheap. 
No, it's wow. a rooster. It's Roosters have wings. They can creatures go. Creatures <laughs> OP. Please nerf. Those creatures OP. It can go anywhere. Tournament banned. It has to lose the outer shell in order to access the wings. Oh, that's its so, second form. Yeah. Uh, and the shell has to recharge. You have a yeah. meter at the bottom that shows your shell recharge. So it's like an attack mode. Yeah. yeah. Higher attack, lower defense. Sky, you've got yeah. water mode, land mode, and sky mode. Yeah, its defense gets lower in sky mode, but it, it can fly certain altitudes. Which ones? <laughs> 10, um, 64. Okay, okay. 302. <laughs> So you just got to make sure it doesn't get you when it's moving in between yeah. those altitudes. Yeah. <laughs> it goes into sleep mode in between those altitudes. <laughs> Takes a little yeah. nap. This is the stage of SpongeBob the musical. <laughs> I'd also love to see a, a D&D monster manual style stat block for this guy. <laughs> I'm sure someone will make it. Yeah, now you've said it. Please send it to Nathan on Twitter. At... I do do send it to me. That's I love yeah, seeing what's, stuff what's your like Twitter that again. It's like it's a um, flow comic. Flow app comic. <laughs> no, but I no, but except I want. I do want to. It, so I... <laughs> do send it to at at Nathan Yaffe. Why would you send yeah. it to my Twitter? Uh, <laughs> Doesn't make sense. God. All right, here's my space assigned fursona. Cruister. It me. Cruister. <laughs> this is really Don't something. Don't make me cry, because I will very easily, and then you'll get these claws. <laughs> <laughs> you'll catch these claws. <laughs> this is yeah. amazing. This is one of the scariest things you've ever drawn. Yeah. It's... I don't know about that, but okay. I do know <laughs> about <you>. that. Thank <laughs> you. I think it's kind of cute. It's it's the sort of thing I'd like to see at like a, a zoo, like see it behind glass. But, but it if it's a grudge, Nathan, if it sees you and it doesn't like you, it's gonna just remember. Don't piss it off. But I, well, I'm not gonna piss it off. You don't know yeah, that. Just be nice. It's sensitive. What if you do something accidentally? That's true. No. I, w I don't ever do anything <laughs> accidentally. Everything I do is intentional. Whoa. Yeah, I think astrology is real because I really vibe with this dude. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm convinced. I think we all sort of got our ourselves in there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, every time I make fun of astrology, I end up uh, immediately <laughs> getting owned. Getting so. called out. <laughs> I should probably learn my lesson, but maybe that's a thing Pisces don't do. So. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a suggestion of what you want to see us draw next time. Uh, head on over to our Patreon. If you like what we do and want to throw us a few bucks, you can, and you get some fun rewards, depending on how much you give, in addition to, of course, the reward of uh, supporting creators that you enjoy and you can you can watch us on twitch uh, every monday 7 p.m eastern time we got a store links in the description uh we're sorry sorry sorry